What a good day. What a high-flying good day. So what do you now know, know that you didn't know a few hours ago? Because we believe that in the beginning of this day that you knew that this is a vibrational universe, conceptually. And we believe that you knew that you are the creator of your own reality, conceptually. And we believe that you knew that contrast was providing the specific details of your desire and that when we ask that opening question, do you know what you want? That that question formulated within every one of you an image of something that you want. But these are the new things that have happened today. And this is the new resonance that you have found as a result of this conversation. It's easier than you had ever imagined. And there is a natural momentum that will take you to everything that you want. And that directing your thoughts and therefore encouraging momentum in one direction, which causes you to no longer encourage momentum in multiple directions, gives you a definiteness of purpose that will yield to you evidential results in a faster period of time. So what we're reaching for, what we really want you to hear as a result of everything that we've talked about here today is that it is easier than you have been letting it be and that there is a momentum that will carry you that you can begin to direct with more um, determination. We want you to let your effort factor be only about choosing that high flying disc and then just for a little while watching what comes as a result of that. But the significant thing that we can feel that has happened within you here is that you are now accepting that your point of attraction is a pliable thing and that the earlier in the day that you identify it and accomplish it, then the more evidence of having done that will show itself to you. It is our desire that you will, for the next 30 days, make a decision that your first question to yourself when you find yourself conscious in the morning is, am I on my high-flying disc? Am I on my high-flying disc? What thoughts could I think that would put me there? And then as you're moving through the day, if the next important question that comes to you is, I can feel myself slipping from my high-flying disc. I have 17 seconds to do something about it. Can I stop this slight momentum in this 17 seconds? And then see yourself do it. The next thing that we think you've gathered from this conversation is the understanding of laying new pipes. That you stand as the receiver of whatever is in the pipeline that you have carved out. And that every thought you think that feels uncomfortable when you think it is literally carving out a pathway to unwanted things. Unwanted when you get there and unwanted on your way to getting there. So we think the combination of knowing that you have the ability to get on this high-flying disc, knowing that it's logical that you'll fall off for a while, but that you have 17 seconds to try not to, and that if you apply yourself a little bit, that you have a pretty good chance of staying on, of knowing that as you do 100% of your affirming when you are flying high, at the time that you're sitting around with friends and you're all laughing so much that you can hardly understand what the other one is saying because you're having so much fun, that's the time to make your affirmations to the universe of what you want. When your children are at their happiest, that's the time to affirm to them who you know them to be. When you are feeling at your best, that's the time to keep that momentum going by talking further, by adding more words to it. And any time other than that, be as quiet as you can be. 
Let no teaching moments ever come from anything less than your high-flying disc. Don't try to teach yourself from anything less than your high-flying disc. And don't try to teach anybody else from anything less than your high-flying disc. And then finally, the most significant of all of that, we want you to be easy with yourselves about it and to say any time you are aware that you have slipped and that you are not on your high-flying disc, oh good, I embrace this clarifying moment. I appreciate this clarifying moment because what you're going to discover is you can have this lovely dance mostly on the high-flying disc, but even on the high-flying disc, there are going to be more things that you're asking for because this is an inevitable fact of the eternal beingness that is you. You are never, ever going to get it done, ever. There's never going to be a moment in time that new desires are not pulsing from you. And so there's never going to be a time that there is not a potential gap between what you're doing right now and who you've actually become. As you embrace that, as you accept that eternal nature, as it's all right for you when you're in a step one moment, and as you are appreciating the step two moment that Source is doing, as we have that wonderful wind at your back, as you acknowledge that step one and step two have already taken place, as someone said so brilliantly just now, without even your conscious awareness or notice of it in many cases, but you are putting your undivided attention upon step three, which is getting on that high-flying disc. People who are watching you are going to begin to come to you wanting to know what you have figured out. What is it that you are doing differently? And we would encourage you to keep it really general and really light with them. We would say things to them such as, I just decided to chill more. I've just decided to get a better night's sleep. I've just decided to get up in the morning and get off on a better foot. I've just decided to direct my thoughts toward more things that feel good. And I've discovered what a magnificent world this is. I love this world and all of the people in it. And I'm finding so many things in every day to praise and appreciate. And I think that's what made the difference for me. And little by little, your paradigm shift will spread outward until others are experiencing their paradigm shift. But that will make no difference to your world because you have already firmly planted yourself on the high-flying disc. So you're going to live happily ever after anyway, you see. But once you have firmly implanted yourself on that high-flying disc and others are observing you and you're wisely explaining what you're doing, simply stating it, more and more and more of this magnificent world will join all of us on that high-flying disc. And what could be more fun than more having more fun? <laughs> there isn't anything that's broken. And anyone that's not on the high-flying disc, even if it's you, nothing's gone wrong with that. It's all part of the clarifying process. So we don't want to leave you in this place of judgment or evaluation about you or anyone else and what disc they're on. But we do think it's nice to have a preference that you understand that you have some measure of control about. And we believe that in this moment, you do. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, you may not remember very much of this. But after two or three days of doing the one simple thing of reaching for that high-flying disc, your own personal life is going to demonstrate for you over and over and over again all of the components of what we talked about here today. It's going to be a really wonderful month coming up and the month following that even better. Because once the manifestations start rolling in, in response to the new pipes that you have laid, then it becomes even more fun because the manifestations reinforce what you know. The better it gets, the better it gets. So we leave you with one last encouragement. Don't flaunt any of this to anyone. Just be the happy person that you are and let Law of Attraction rendezvous you with those who get that, who understand that. We promise you, you didn't come to figure this out so that you could take others who don't understand it to a place of understanding it. Just for a month, you understand it. Later on, when you're really stable, when there's no chance of wherever they are moving you from where you are, then you can have your teaching moments. <laughs> One last thing. 
you're really going to like this. <laughs> the only moment that is an effective teaching moment is when you are on the high flying disc and so is your student. We've enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain stubbornly, joyously, eternally, infinitely, deliberately in the vortex.